Hello, I'm Bob Screen, package car driver in Metro Center of the Metro DC District. I'm a Circle of Honor member with 28 years safe driving. I've been asked to take a few minutes and talk with you about a situation we face every day as drivers and that is package car tail swing. Every day when we make sharp turns, pull into curbside stops, or pull out of curbside stops, we need to be aware of the tail swing on our package cars. Let's look at what tail swing is and how we can manage it each day. Tail swing occurs when you turn your package car. A pivot point exists at the center of the rear axle on your car. When you turn sharply when pulling out from a stop or at an intersection, your car will pivot as you pull forward. This results in the rear of your car swinging opposite the direction you are moving. As you see here, the driver is pulling out from a simulated stop. As the car moves forward back into traffic, the rear of the package car swings to the right. This amount of swing varies depending on the size of the package car. The following are the amount of forward movement for standard package car sizes that result in maximum tail swing. P500, 4 feet, 9 inches. P700, 5 feet, 3 inches. P1000, 8 feet, 8 inches. P1200, 8 feet, 8 inches. And 24 foot straight truck, 9 feet, 4 inches. When you pull away from a right curb stop, be sure to look in your right mirror to check for tail swing as you pull out. When you pull away from a left curb stop, be sure to look in your left mirror to check for tail swing as you pull out. Here the driver is pulling into a stop to the left. Watch the rear of the package car as the driver pulls forward and to the left into the stop. Sometimes you're forced to double park to make a delivery or pickup. This places your package car close to other vehicles parked along the curb. This creates the potential for a hit park vehicle accident while pulling out. You need to be aware of and check for tail swing and adjust your steering as you leave the stop. Whenever you complete a left turn, as you complete the left turn, be sure to check your right mirror for tail swing. Tail swing also occurs when pulling out from a loading dock. If your front tires are turned, you will have some tail swing as you pull forward. Newer package cars have power steering. When drivers use the power steering during a pull out or turn, extra steering input can be inadvertently applied, increasing the rate of tail swing. Remember to use caution when turning a car equipped with power steering. Let's review some key points to remember about tail swing. First, remember a pivot point exists at the rear axle on your car. When you pull out from a stop or turn, your car will pivot as you pull forward. This results in the rear of your car swinging out opposite the direction you are moving. The amount of forward movement varies by size of package car but can be as much as 9 feet 4 inches in a 24 foot straight truck. This makes checking the tail swing crucial when pulling into a stop, leaving a stop, or making a turn. During a curb stop, check the mirror that relates to where the curb is located. For a right curb stop, check your right mirror for tail swing. For a left curb stop, check your left mirror for tail swing. When making a turn, you should check the mirror that is opposite of the direction you are turning. For example, when making a left turn, be sure to check the right mirror for tail swing. If driving a car equipped with power steering, remember you may accidentally apply more steering input than is needed. This can increase the amount and rate of tail swing. As drivers, we have a demanding job every day. We are professional drivers and need to remember that even letting our guard down for just a moment can be costly. By following these precautions, you can reduce the likelihood of being involved in an accident caused by tail swing. 
Your safety starts with you.